Hello my crafty friends and welcome back to my channel and another edition of Smash That Small Paper Pad. This is hosted by Deb Houck of Deb Houck's Crafty Cottage and on the 25th of every month we show what we've done with one 6x6 pad of paper and sometimes it takes two months, sometimes it takes three months to get through the whole pad, but we pretty much use everything in it. So, this is the second month I'm using a Lumberjack Christmas by Echo Park. I have one full sheet of paper left, and then this little baggie of scraps. And I think this is a pretty good idea, actually, to put, put all your scraps in a baggie. And they come in different sizes also. After you're done watching this video, please check out the list of collaborators and their links to see what they created. All right, let's get started. I used Alicia's uh, August 2020 sheet load for inspiration, her sketch, because it uses the six by six pad. So here are my cards. I started out using the, actually I did cheat a little bit because I had a couple of pieces of 12, my 12 by 12 that I did. I did Lumberjack Christmas for a show us your sheet load. I don't remember when it was exactly, August, September, anyway. But, so I used this this piece. So I had the wood grain. I love wood grain. I wish I could find some more really good uh, pad of wood grain paper. If you know of one, let me know. Uh, the last time I had a really good set was uh, Stampin' Up! had a stack. And it was great. I wish I had ordered more because I really liked it. So there's the stockings. I used red glitter paper. With the backing here. Uh, Merry Everything and Happy Always. And a couple of the chipboards. And then I just varied with the, the pattern. I cut everything out. I used the six pieces of paper. Like on her uh, supply list. But I just varied it. As to what I felt matched what. And same there. And the inside of the card, Christmas Wishes, which is from Stampin' Up. And then this, this little tree set, is a foam set that I got from my former patient. And here's a cute chipboard sticker. Dear Santa, I did really try. And again, the, the stockings. And another chipboard sticker. Christmas wishes. I alternated between garden green and cherry cobbler for the sentiment. And then for the trees, I did Gina K Designs uh, Craft ink. And here's a couple more chipboard stickers. And instead of instead of doing uh, sentiment like she has here, I went ahead and used some of, more of the cut aparts. And same thing here. And then I, because I didn't think that the uh, wood grain looked good on here, because I already had the craft cardstock. I flipped it over to to get the uh, the beautiful pine cones and greenery. And this is a piece of ephemera and some black and white twine I had, and the Christmas tree and the little holly. And this again, this buffalo check was a bigger piece that I got had for my twelve by twelve. 
again a cut apart and I back this with green and this was uh, I found this one but when I was going through the rest of my stuff to see what I had left I had this whole piece left so I went ahead and just made a simple card and this is a chipboard piece and then I had ordered a bunch of these Christmas wishes off of Etsy. I believe it's dozens of die cuts. I think her name is either Suzanne or Sharon. Suzanne, I think. Anyway, I have used her quite a bit. And she must be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, or she used to be anyway, because all the colors that she offered for this were the Stampin' Up! ink colors. So let me show you what I did. On this one, I used my wreath die, and then I glued this in there, in within. It just fit. I thought it was perfect. And then I took my spell binders the holly and the berries and I used white gel pen and Wayne Costella and then I added some Ruby Slippers Nouveau Drops and then with this one I did the same thing luckily I had a piece of this left because it looked obviously it looks better on solid color there's a little moose chipboard sticker. And this is just, I, I cut this in half and this is the opposite of this. So it worked out really great. And there are my cards. I think I had more fun with this particular set this time, putting everything together. So again, please watch everyone else that's down in my description box. See what they made. And also, I'm going to be putting at the end of this video, the first video where I did the Lumberjack Christmas. So thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving, everybody. Bye-bye.